I cheated on my perfect husband and regret about it, but he didn't forgive me, and I lost him forever. My husband, 36-year-old male, and I, 36-year-old female, have been together for 16 years and married for 14. We have two daughters who are 13 and 12. About three months ago, I cheated on him with my co-worker once and immediately regretted it. To be honest, I still haven't figured out the real reason I cheated. On the surface level, the reason would be that my husband was too caught up with work for a couple of months and I felt neglected and unappreciated at times. I know that isn't the real reason, so I'm trying to figure out what is through individual counseling. I only cheated on him that one time and immediately told him the next day because I couldn't bottle up my guilt and shame. He was shocked at first, but then went on to call me the most horrid names. I deserved it. I deserved a lot more than that. I don't even know how it got to the point of me sleeping with my coworker. It started with innocent flirting, and before I knew it, I made the worst mistake of my life by sleeping with him. I cut off all contact with my coworker and gave up my phone to my husband. I wanted to reassure him that I was willing to make this work on his terms, whatever they were, as long as he would give me another chance. Even though, in my heart, I knew that I wanted another chance to prove myself, I told him that I would understand if he went through with a divorce. Anyways, I told my husband that I would do anything to regain his trust and express my sorrow and regret for having hurt him so much. My husband has always been the type of guy to give a person only one chance. Even in his friendships, if the trust had been broken, he wouldn't give the other person another chance. He said that he wanted a divorce, but then the whole quarantine thing happened, and he stayed in the house for about two months and didn't proceed with the divorce. For the first month, he treated me very coldly, and the only time we talked was when it had to do with our daughters. I slept on the couch and tried to give him as much space as he needed, and only reminded him from time to time that if he ever wanted to work things out, I'd be more than willing to and would be completely devoted to the process of him working things out. He even said some spiteful things during that month and distanced himself from me completely. During the second month, there was a change as he began talking to me again. We talked about daily stuff and even watched movies together with the girls as a family. I felt like he wanted to try reconciling, and I was so happy. I was thrilled that there might be a chance to save my family, to save us. Eventually, through the next couple of days, I could sense us becoming friends all over again. He even invited me to sleep on the bed again. It was really working out, and I reminded him that he could talk about anything he wanted with me. A couple of weeks passed by, and we were getting along even better. We were spending time as a family again, and had gotten closer with each other as well. I felt really good about the way things were going, but I wish I'd suggested marriage counseling. I just didn't want to pressure him and have him think that I wanted to sweep this situation under the rug or that I was trying to influence him to not divorce me. One night, we were drinking a bit, just talking in our bedroom, and I felt a genuine connection rebuilding. It felt like we were falling for each other all over again, and it made me so happy. This is the part I regret now. I decided to make a move on him and straddled him while we were laughing at a joke. We looked each other in the eyes, and so naturally I began making out with him. It honestly felt like we were 20 all over again. He kissed me back as well, but after a while, he just started crying. He told me to stop and said that he couldn't. I felt so awful because I felt like he wanted to, but didn't at the same time. It broke my heart to directly see just how badly my stupid decision had hurt him. I told him that I was sorry, and we went to sleep. The reason I say I regret doing this is because I feel like this moment pushed him away forever. Two days later, he informed me that he wanted to go through with a divorce. He said that he just doesn't think he could make it work, even after trying for the last two months. I wanted to fight with him about it, but I just told him that I understood. We had already decided before that if a divorce was to happen, it would be on fair terms. Sure, we'd both have lawyers, but we agreed on a lot of the stuff together. He wanted to take a two-week trip, but would come back to pick up the girls after his trip. We both mutually agreed that we'd split the time with the girls after his trip. They would spend half of the week with him and the other half with me. I even helped him pack up his stuff 
and when we finished, I just bawled my eyes out, and we hugged it out. After his two weeks trip, he came back, and it felt good seeing him again, but I knew it wasn't the same. He just smiled, and we made small talk before he took the girls. We're both really good parents and want the best for our kids. Today, I got served divorce papers. It hurts so much to know that I lost my best friend because I was stupid. Sometimes I roll over to his side of the bed in the morning, and I hate how I don't feel his body there anymore. I miss his smell, his smile, his voice. I miss him filling up the entire room with his loud, adorable laugh. I miss him so much. The thing that hurts me the most in all of this is knowing how badly I hurt the person I love the most. I wish I could go back in time and undo what I did, but I can't. So now here I am writing about it on Reddit while crying when there's nothing that I can do about it. I wish I could let him see for himself what I genuinely feel in my heart about how sorry I am and about how I would be the most devoted wife ever if he just gave me another chance. To let him know just how much I love him and that I'd literally do anything for him. I ducked up the most perfect thing that ever happened to me. I wish I could get him back, but I know that I lost him forever. Cheating wife whom I caught with AP in my car got crazy when I kicked him and threw my wedding ring in her face. Together almost seven years, married for just over one. She dated him ages 18 to 22, then someone else for a couple of years, then me 2012 until now. We are 31. He's 40-ish. We do everything together, including running a successful small business. Our friend group makes fun of how perfect our falling in love story is. And other than this problem, it has been a very happy, fun, successful relationship. Over the years, she saw him occasionally. Birthdays, holidays, etc. Maybe once every couple months. Always for an hour or two, dinner or coffee. I never, not once, saw him. He is married and has a child, and always hid from his wife he was hanging out with my wife. Note, he cheated on my wife several times while they were dating, so I have always been baffled why she wanted to keep in contact with him. He also was in a serious accident where she rehabilitated him, feeding him in bed for months, and then he cheated on her again as soon as he was back on his feet. He also made her clean his entire house all the time and inspected her work. She doesn't have many friends, so she always said it was nice to meet up with an old friend who shares history. Whatever, I didn't think much of it at first, and I trusted her, even though I disagreed with her. So one day, a couple of years in, I see her phone light up from the coffee table. He texted her, I glance, and it is a super sexual kind of joke. I freak out inside. I talk to her about it and say it is very inappropriate, yada yada. She says she'll talk to him and it will never happen again. I write it off as him being a dirtbag. A few months later, it happens again. Now I am very freaking right out. So I start reading through her texts while she's asleep because, you know, as embarrassing and gross as it is, I need to know. Lots of sexual jokes or general remember that time. Also, texts being critical of me. I wake her up screaming saying she can never see him again if this continues. She doesn't see him for several months. Somehow, over the next year or so, she talks me into being okay with it again. His cat dies. We need real estate advice. He's in that line of work. I don't know, whatever. I say, okay, because it's been like a year. This is around year four or five. It seems fine and normal for a while, but I keep reading the texts because gross. I find some more sleazy jokes. I snap and say, for real, this is the last time. Now, a year later, somehow, once again, I come around to allowing them to hang out, but I am not happy about it. And I must add, I have been vehemently not happy about it and telling her so. And it is our sole problem. And it always comes up how much I hate him. But I love her, so I let her. And it's only every couple of months or so, so whatever. Anyway, flash forward to the last couple of months. I notice they are talking way more often, lots of phone calls and texts. We have each other's locations because we are married and she insisted. I never look. 
but now I start to look. I check a few weeks ago. She's at an address I don't recognize. Call her to see what's up. She sounds odd, says she's at a friend's house. I know where this person lives, and it is not the location she is currently at. So I say, say hello to X's name for me, assuming that's what she is doing. She rushes home. She is so scared that she was caught hanging out with him and in a lie. She is so scared she starts puking and doesn't sleep all night. I am mad as hell, but I forgive her. We are fine for a couple of weeks. She is still texting with him lots. We work a lot all week together and have fun. He is around in her life enough over the years that I can't help thinking of him often and comparing myself to him. He is super rich. I'm definitely not. Thoughts of them pop in my mind, of them being together, even while we are being intimate. I tell my mind to duck off, but it keeps happening. I am losing trust. After dropping her off at home after work, I go back to do more work, mentioning I'll be out until 2 a.m. or so. I get tired and come home early, thinking we could just watch Netflix. She isn't home, even though I just spoke with her. I check her location, and she is nearby his house. The location updates, she is on the way home. I see the dot stop at the top of the street. I wait ten or so minutes. I walk up our street, expecting to just surprise them, meet him for the first time, introduce myself very awkwardly, and then ask her why she is lying about seeing him. As I walk closer, I don't see two silhouettes. I get closer and find them in his car, but she's on his lap, kissing him, arms wrapped around him. I pause for a few seconds in shock. I open his door fast. I scream, hit him in the face. He looks scared and confused. I throw my ring onto his dash and scream some sort of speech, storm away back home grab clothes, and drive two hours north to stay at my dad's. I think of all the times they must have been together. How could it be possible that the only time I have ever seen his face, they are kissing? Out of the dozens and dozens of times, I have let them get together. It can't just be the one time, right? I come back to town. We talk. I yell and scream and break stuff, smash a chair, asking for the truth. She says she also kissed him when his cat passed, four years ago, but those were the only two times, and they were because she was trying to make him happy. My trust is shattered. I don't believe those could be the only two times, after all the sexual, joking texts, and I mean we are adults who the duck only just makes out for a bit. Even if that is the truth, I have told her for years that he is trying to be more than a friend. She always just brushed it off and continues to convince me that they are just friends and it's no big deal, even though she knew I really didn't want her to see him. Even all of her friends and family have continuously scolded her for seeing him after what he did to her. Considering all that, and the fact that she cheated on me four years ago when his cat passed, like, how dare she? Anyway, I've read online that couples counseling and one-on-one counseling is the only way to get out of this alive. But... To be honest, I'm not feeling very hopeful. This was a building problem over years, my only problem with her, and it exploded. I am not a bad person. I have been in one fight my entire life, in grade seven, and now I have hit a man in the face. I just don't know if I believe her. She deleted him off everything and promised she will never see him again, but who knows how long that will last. I guess she just never got over him and just lied to herself, thinking it was just a friendship, and would do anything to get that attention from him. Anyway, anybody else gone through this? What do I do? I hate that I'm posting this. I just don't want our friends to know.